Imagine, you've just become a certified makeup artist. Your career is just beginning. A few months later, you decide to go get your nails done as a treat for all the hard work that you've done. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite go to plan. You see, as you live your life with your new set of nails, you start to notice pain, discomfort, swelling, redness, tingling, numbness in your fingers. And eventually, you lose the entire tip of your finger. That, my friends, is exactly what happened to Cody. In today's video, we are going to be discussing some disturbing, graphic, gross, nail things. So a few weeks ago on social media, this news article started floating around. It's older, it's not from this year, but it started floating around on social media about this young UK woman who lost her fingertip after getting her nails done. And you know I had to dig deeper into that and you know I had to film a video about it. So that's what we're gonna be chatting about today. First, let's chat a little bit about Cody's story. So back in May of 2020, Cody became a certified makeup artist. And a few months later, decided to go out as a treat to herself and all of her hard work, she went and got her nails done. However, unbeknownst to Cody, she ended up going to a nail salon that was using MMA acrylic, which not only caused severe damage to her nail, but the entire fingertip. So what is MMA acrylic and why is it causing so much damage like losing an entire fingertip? MMA stands for methyl, methacrylate, which is essentially dental acrylic. It's, it's used in the creation of uh, bridges and crowns. And this is uh, the kind of acrylic that would have been used in the early, early, early days of acrylic nails. However, today we should be using ethyl methacrylate or EMA for short. So why is MMA so dangerous? Firstly, it is incredibly rigid, so much more so than EMA. It's so rigid, it's actually used as bone cement in joint replacement surgery. The chemical makeup of MMA is also what causes so much damage to the nail. The molecules are so eeny teeny weeny beady that they can actually penetrate the nail plate, the nail bed, and it'll cause the nail bed to essentially harden, which is sandwiching your nail in between two very rigid surfaces. And when you bang your finger on something, it not only causes excruciating pain, but may rip your nail plain off the nail bed because of the hardening of the nail bed, which could potentially cause permanent damage and missing nails for the rest of your life. MMA is also solvent resistant, which means it cannot be soaked off in acetone or it takes hours to be soaked off in acetone. EMA, when soaked in acetone, will break down safely and quickly, making it easy and safe to remove from the natural nail. MMA, however, not quite the same. It remains shiny and hard and gets kind of slippery. So, so, not only is the product itself dangerous, but the removal process of it is also incredibly dangerous and can cause permanent damage. Could you not just file it off? Yes. Yes, you could. And a lot of salons that use MMA would just file it off or pull it off with another tip, but we won't even go there. The issue with MMA being filed off is that it is so tough, so rigid, so strong that it is so hard to file and still takes hours to remove. So you're getting heat buildup, friction buildup, and potential vibration for hours on your nail. MMA also has a really hard time adhering to smooth surfaces such as our natural nails. So a lot of salons or techs who use MMA will actually file away the bulk of your natural nail until it's a very thin, fragile sheet of nail in order for the MMA acrylic to adhere essentially to your nail bed, not the nail plate. And having thin, fragile, brittle nails like this is just making it that much easier for you to rip your nail off and cause permanent damage. And it's not just nail specific damage either. MMA can cause respiratory problems, dizziness, eye irritation, skin irritation such as redness, swelling, tingling, even numbness. And it can cause fungal and bacterial infections which I think is probably what happened to Cody and unfortunately a lot of other people. So why did this happen to Cody and how can we prevent it from happening to ourselves? First of all, I do not blame Cody at all or anybody who has suffered the same fate, anybody who has gone to a salon using MMA and has had irreparable damages. I do not blame you at all. This is not your fault. We should not have to worry about going into a salon and them using dangerous products. This 
This shouldn't be something we have to worry about. Unfortunately, since MMA is about a third of the price of EMA, salons that don't have a large budget or nail techs who are very greedy and don't care about your health and safety will use it. So, so what should we be looking for if we're going to a new salon or nail tech? First of all, as mentioned, it's very inexpensive. So if the price you've been quoted is a lot lower than any of the other prices in the area, red flag. I also just wanna quickly point out that this happened the spring, summer of 2020 when salons were essentially shut down across the world. So I would hazard to guess that this nail tech was probably breaking lockdown protocols. And I mean, if a service provider is willing to put your health and safety at risk during a worldwide pandemic, who knows what other kind of shortcuts they're willing to take, right? I wouldn't necessarily trust them to have quality products. I'm just putting that out there. So what else should we be looking for? A strange odor. The odor's gonna be much stronger than any EMA acrylic. I've never smelled MMA acrylic to my knowledge, but apparently it's got a fruity sort of fishy smell. It's not your typical monomer smell. So watch out for that. Watch out for nondescript products. Is your tech using products out of a container without labels? Is your nail tech using product out of a container that looks to be really, 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 really old and is just being refilled over and over and over again? It might not be the same product being put in that container. Now, a lot of nail techs do purchase their products in bulk and they may decant those products into smaller containers that don't have labels on them. That's entirely possible. But if you're concerned about it, ask them to see the larger container. Ask them to see the brand that they use, the ingredient list. If your tech is not willing to do that, I would not continue with the appointment. Don't be afraid to ask your nail tech questions. What's the brand you use? What distributor do you get it from? Why are you choosing this brand over this brand? Don't be afraid to ask questions. My clients ask me questions like that all the time and I am happy to talk to them about the products I buy. And I love educating my clients on nail safety, nail care. I love it. It's my favorite part of the job. Don't be afraid to ask your nail tech about these things. If they're not willing to talk to you about it, they're probably not the best tech to be going to. That's just my opinion though. Also, as I was researching for this video, I came across article upon article upon article about people who have been affected by MMA acrylic. People are losing their nails and fingers all over the world. Never mind, who knows what's happening to their respiratory system, their nervous system. Who knows the long-term effects? You might be missing a finger, but who knows what's gonna happen in 20 years to your lungs. So please, 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 please be careful and do your research if you are looking for a new nail salon or nail tech. I mean, any service provider, hair, tattoos, piercings, lashes, anything, do your research. If the price is too good to be true, there's probably a reason. We ourselves, the consumers, have to do the research we have to ask the questions. We have to be informed consumers because unfortunately the greedy, greedy, greedy Gusses out there do not care about our health and safety. They care about the bottom line and that is it. Well, that was a disturbing one today. I hope it didn't ruin your day too bad or anything. Everything I have mentioned all the links that I have found all of this information on will be in the description box. So if you would like to do more research, have at her. I hope you enjoyed this video or at least learned something or how to protect your nails and fingies. I hope you got something out of this video. <laughs> if you did, go ahead, give this video a thumbs up. It legitimately helps out my channel. And let me know if any of you out there have suffered from any MMA acrylic damages and you can subscribe to the channel for free we talk about all kinds of nail things and that is going to be it for me today i will see you in my next video bye